I've never met anyone who finds the person of Jesus boring or uninteresting. I think he's the most compelling uh, character in, that we've ever come across, the person of Jesus. So um, I think it's not a bad idea to read about Jesus in the Gospels for yourself and to find out who you think he is. But personally, I think uh, his teaching is revolutionary. I think most people agree that if, uh, if most of us lived a little bit more like Jesus, me included, then the world would be a better place. Um, but also there is something extra about Jesus when you read about him that you realize that there's more to him than just a great teacher, that he has something unique to talk about in terms of uh, what life is about, but also this connection with God that he, he said that he was the way to relationship with God. And I think many, many people have found that and experienced that over years. And that's certainly my experience. I, when I read the New Testament, the person of Jesus just comes alive in a way that I've never come across in other people that I've read about in history. Um, and, um, you know, I believe that he's alive, that he rose from the dead and that uh, we can know him now, uh, which might sound a bit of a strange idea to people who are, um, if you've never thought about that. But um, I think Jesus has changed people's lives for the last 2000 years and he continues to do it today. And that's certainly the case for me. Certainly in Western culture, there's a sort of... Um, Religion is not a popular thing for a lot of people. And I kind of understand that because no one wants to feel that they are trapped in something that is uh, going to tell people what to do. I think Jesus is particularly attractive because Jesus was, um, was not a sort of institutional figure. Uh, he was a person who spoke in a way that people could understand and related to people's lives. The challenge for the church is constantly to um, make sure that the packaging is not what's putting people off and actually we need to think quite hard about how we talk about things that they are asking the questions that people are asking rather than irrelevant questions that no one is asking it's interesting the pattern of sharing faith in the new testament majority of it seems to be uh, people saying come and see the first disciples for example um, peter is invited by his brother Andrew. Andrew says, oh look, I've come across Jesus. Why don't you come and check him out for yourself? Um, we've got um, Nathaniel uh, is brought along by his friend Philip. Philip says, hey, come and see this guy. Um, we find the same thing with there's a lady who is a Samaritan woman and she encounters Jesus and she, ha she enjoys it so much she goes to her whole village and says, come and find this guy. So I think that's the sort of New Testament model that is um, most common. Obviously, there are people who preach to crowds, you know, Peter preaches to crowds, but I think um, the come and see model is probably the easiest because many people don't feel like they have answers to everyone's questions. They don't feel uh, that they can convey everything that they would like to about the Christian faith, but they can bring them somewhere else where someone can explain some of the basics of the Christian faith. So I think that's... Um, that's what we've seen that works with Alpha is that you're able to say, come to this thing and come and give us your opinion 